Hello, look what's happening in my dye kitchen right now. <laughs> it's your prize yarn. <laughs> I'm not showing you the rest of the dye kitchen because as you can see, I'm an extremely messy worker and it needs a really deep clean, which is going to get when I get back from holiday, as is the rest of the house. There we go. There's some Malloween and a couple of, an extra skein of Malloween and um, uh, a one-off of some sport which I was just using to sop up some extra dye that I like too much to get rid of. Um, I'll probably use that for Christmas present. So I've dyed it on sock, sparkle sock, because most of you are saying things like mitts, socks, shawls, which fingering weight or four ply or sock yarn is perfect for. So I've even got the heating on now to get it dry nice and quickly so I can post it out tomorrow morning. Oh, you're getting excited about me drawing them. I'm going to do it soon. Good evening. Sorry, it's been very light on the vlog. I mean, non-existent on the vlog side today. I've been manic at work getting everything sorted and then I've been working hard on adventing and packing and things like that and, and dying something special. Uh, I've come back down to carry on. I've got to get the rest of my postage processed and printed. But whilst I was just upstairs with Cos while he was going to sleep, um, I did a little bit of work on my, um, who are you going to call? Who are you gonna call sock? It's living in my Sanderson sisters project bag with my Sanderson sisters pin on it and my candy cane charm. Candy cane, candy corn. I've not been able to get candy corn this year. I'm really sad. Couldn't get it online or in our local sweetie shop that sells all American sweets. Very disappointed. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that excitingly, I've just changed, you can't see it because I've only done two rows, but I've just changed colour to the toe. So, that's it nearly done with this sock and then i can get on with the second one i love this texture so much but it looks so much like a couple of other patterns that are out there that i don't think it's worth me writing them up i don't want to be accused of plagiarism either you know i wouldn't want someone to do that to me it's just a coincidence that i picked that stitch pattern up and that's it but anyway i hopefully when I've done the postage, going to have a nice soak in the bath with a few vlogtobers and then knit a little while before I conk out. <laughs> anyway, I've made myself a gingerbread chai latte in my punky mug. I'm a little bit chilly actually, I've just popped the heating on. Ooh, that was a big shiver down my spine. It's time, it's time to announce the winners. I drew two names. And each of these people is going to win a skein of Malloween. Also little bits and bobs to go with. So without further ado, let me announce the two winners are Nia Lang. And Lorraine Ball. So congratulations. If you are Nia or Lorraine, just um, send me um, either, if you're on Instagram, send me um, 
a DM on Instagram, a private message. Uh, or if you haven't got that, you could email me at kettleylam at gmail.com. And uh, I need to know your addresses. And then I will get these parcels up and in the post to you tomorrow while I take all the advents and things to the post office. It's very soft and squishy. If you wanted some and you didn't win, I'm sorry, but I am definitely, definitely going to be dying this for next autumn time. So keep your eyes peeled for this going in the shop this time next year. Anyway, I've got a lot of jobs to do. Not much time for fun and frolics today, I'm afraid. But tomorrow, hopefully, I might be able to share something else. It's just going to be sorting out the house, getting clothes ready because we go away on Sunday. So, um, but I'll be doing a few bits and bobs, got to go a few places, pick some things up and drop some things off. So I can take you along with me and blither onto you inanely while I do it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.